Hi, it's Graham from Auslappen. I thought, uh, considering that we're still in um, lockdown, stage five lockdown, and we were sent home um, two days ago from Teddington National Park, uh, just south of uh, St Arnold, I'd actually do a short video showing you some of the resources that we use uh, when it comes to topographic mapping. So most of the uh, information we get is stored at Geoscience Australia. Uh, they're our national body. They're up in Canberra. And um, most, if not all, of their data is licensed to Creative Commons, which basically means uh, it's accessible to anybody in Australia. And any of the products that are made are usually made using taxpayers' money, like you and me. So it means that uh, we should be, and we are, able to actually access this data and use it. So uh, I'll just show you quickly their website and we get some information about downloading maps. So this is the Geoscience uh, Australia website. And what we do here is uh, we can actually see that um, they've got um, maps of Australia, they've got web services, interactive maps, uh, interactive 3D modeling, um, they've got multimedia, data standards, client services, a national mineral and fossil collection, uh, which is quite interesting. Where we're going today is into Maps of Australia. So we just click Maps of Australia. And in Maps of Australia, we've got a whole range here. We've got topographic maps. Uh, there's report type maps, uh, maritime jurisdictions, basic outline maps, which will show a really accurate coastline, uh, geophysical maps, uh, geological maps and geothermal maps. Well, what we're going to do here is actually go into uh, the top one, which is topographic maps. And uh, there's a lot of information. There's map reading guides, uh, how to print out your maps. So basically just taking them down to uh, office works or somewhere like that to get your maps done. Um, so topographic maps, uh, you can actually see them by states. Now, some of the states, um, especially with 50th hour, one is 50th hour and larger, um, don't use Creative Commons, and basically um, you'd have to purchase these maps. But the uh, map indexes that we've got here will actually show you what you can and can't get. So we've got one is to 50th hour, one is to 100th hour, one is to 250th hour, one is to a million scale products. So if we actually go into our one is to 50th hour index, which is uh, just here. It'll come up with a map of Australia with uh, some little green boxes. Now, these actual green boxes here are one is the 50th hour products made by the Royal Australian Survey Corps uh, or civilian contractors. Uh, and in a lot of cases, they're the most accurate products around. Uh, Obviously, for a military use, we've looked at the top of Australia. But there are other areas around uh, Perth, south of Perth, uh, up the central corridor, and little places along the eastern coast. If we actually zoom in here, we can zoom in. And as you zoom in, you'll actually be able to see a base map at the bottom, um, like here's Bradshaw. And then you've got your one is the 50th hour uh, map that is actually sitting there. What we'll do is we'll get something a little bit more interesting. Uh, we'll come up here and we'll go into Darwin. So we'll zoom in on Darwin. And we can see that the Darwin, uh, one is the 50th hour product, is 5073, which is the 100th hour area. And of that, two denotes the fact that it's a 50th hour. So we hit on that there. It'll actually open up this here. So it says uh, 5073.2 Darwin. The one is the 50th hour topographic map. So then we hit download map. And when we download map, it gives us these choices here. So on the right hand side, you've got the choice here to purchase the product. And that would be a hard copy and you don't have to pay for that. But if you have a look below that, it says download the map TIFF file, uh, open the link. So if we actually open that link, uh, it is now automatically downloading. So you can see down here, it's downloading. At this stage, um, it's going to take about two minutes to download. So we'll come back to that one uh, when it's downloaded. Okay, so once it's downloaded, you can actually zoom in on different places on the product here. So 
it has got a lot of information. Um, and what's really good with these topographic products, the actual um, physical land uh, here, you've you've got uh, sand, so you can work out where your beaches are. Um, are very very accurate. Obviously, coastlines would change over time, uh, but you can actually navigate off these ones. Um, the best thing to do is to go down to the legend, and in the legend, we can actually see here that this was um, uh, produced by the Army Topographic Support Establishment, um, which was uh, just after the Royal Australian Survey Corps left, um, and it was actually compiled in 1978 uh, with field verification in 1979. So because of that age, there are probably things in here uh, to do with uh, buildings and cultural detail and roads that could have uh, been updated or added to. So you've just got to be a little bit careful there. But um, you'll find um, a lot of information um, down the bottom. I'm not going to sort of go through a map, uh, a mapping exercise here to show you how to do things, uh, how to read maps and that. But there's water guides. There's information about uh, the climate grass for temperature and rainfall. Uh, and then you've got your legend down here showing you all the good information about um, what you can actually see and find on the product. If you can't actually find the uh, 150 hour product uh, that you're looking for in the green area, then go back to the geoscience uh, topographic map page. And then what happens here, it'll actually give you uh, a link for each of the states and territories. So you can actually go into the state bodies and I'll just do this for Victoria. And that'll actually take you into uh, the Victoria body. And then there's information about what products uh, that they have and how you can actually access those. So as I said before, there's other uh, scale products. Uh, we've got one is 100,000. And I'll just go into that diagram to show you what 100,000 there are. Okay, so you can see here the 100,000 are mainly around the coast, the coast uh, line. So if we actually zoom in here, we can see the 100,000 numbers appear. And if we zoom in a little bit closer, we'll go to um, Kakadu, and you've got uh, Drysdale there, which is uh, number 4269. Um, so you've got a rough idea where you'd be looking. So if I click on that one, um, basically, do you want to download the map? So download the map. And it brings up this page. So again, you can uh, purchase the product or you can download the TIFF for free. So the idea there is to actually download the TIFF for free. And you can see down here that's going to take a couple of minutes. So here we have the um, Drysdale 1 as to 100 thou. And again, the same as the 50 thou, we can actually zoom in on these areas here. And you can see the amount of information you've got there. So you've got your, um, your cultural details, which is your roads and your airstrips and that. You've got your hydro information. Um, you've got your um, contours and your spot heights. Um, and you've got your mangroves here. So the next scale we've got is the one is the 250 thou. And again, we've got uh, complete uh, coverage of Australia with the uh, one is the 250 thou. So again, we can actually have a look and see what's available. We can go in. We'll have a look at Drysdale. We'll click on Drysdale. We'll download the map. So the next goal we've got is one to a million, which has a lot less detail, but each uh, chart actually covers a lot more uh, area. So I'll wait for that one to open up. And as you can see, this is a good. These are good ones for actually um, planning uh, where you're going, and um, if you can actually print them out, uh, they're pretty good. So again, you've got purchase or download the PDF. So we're downloading the PDF, and that comes up. So we're in Burke, and then we can actually zoom in here. It's got the map index there. Um, depending on your, your system, you can pull that across. 
So we've got Burke there. We'll zoom in on Burke. Still a lot of information. Um, again, really good for planning. So if you actually right up north, um, those products I just showed you then, the 1 to 50 thou, would be the best topographic products you could actually use for your navigation. Um, but like everything, you don't use just the one source. If you've got um, local knowledge, if you're using MapMe, or if you've got Google Maps, they all show things a little bit differently. And um, some things like the cultural, maybe the latest tracks in that will be shown on MapMe or Google Maps. But uh, as far as topographic, as far as uh, where the creeks are, where the ruins are, and that type of thing, you're better off sticking with a topographical uh, product, like I said. Anyway, um, that's about it. What I'll do is I'll actually put all the links uh, to the products that I've shown you and Geoscience Australia uh, down below. Um, if you've liked this video, uh, please give us the thumbs up and um, subscribe. Um, that'd be really good. And um, let me know if you like this type of video. Um, I've got some other information I'd like to share with you guys. So we've got some merch left. Um, we've got the Auslappen uh, t-shirts, um, the uh, Sun Smart to 50. Um, they've got wicking material in them so that uh, you can wear them on a, a hot day and you'll find that um, they'll keep you nice and cool. Um, yeah, just let us know. Uh, get to us either on Instagram, Facebook or uh, YouTube and uh, we'll send them out. Um, yeah, that'd be great. Okay, cheers, bye.